If you enjoy vampires and you enjoy Quentin Tarantino movies, you're in luck because today I'm talking about From Dusk Till Dawn, a movie that merges gen genres together and gave us a cult classic. Welcome to Sci-Fi Fans, I'm your host Wayne. Quentin Tarantino wrote the screenplay combining crime thriller and horror, horror genres together in a unique way, in the only way that he really can do. Everything that he does is pretty much unique and stylized. The film was directed by Robert Rodriguez, known for his work on Desperado and Sin City. The film marks George Clooney's first major film role since, the, uh, since he departed the successful TV show ER. Harvey Keitel was cast as Jacob Fuller, bringing gravitas to the role of the faith-questioning preacher, and Salama Hayek, who played the iconic Santinico Pandemonium, had a real phobia of snakes, but she overcame this to perform her memorable dance scenes. The film's special effects were handled by KNB EFX Group, and they were known for their work on The Walking Dead. So they've got a real kind of horror uh, pedigree, haven't they? Because The Walking Dead is a pretty good film, so great special effects. So they definitely got the right people on board for that. Quentin Tarantino, though, not only wrote the film, but he also starred in it as Richie Gecko, and that kind of showcases his versatility. The film has become a cult classic, renowned for its genre-bending narrative and memorable characters. And who could forget Quentin Tarantino on screen? Legendary makeup artist Tom Savina played the bike character Sex Machine, adding to the film's horror credibility. The exterior shots of the Titty Twister bar were filmed at a set constructed in the Californian desert. The movie was shot in just 42 days, and that's a testament to Robert Rodriguez's efficient directing style. I mean, I think a lot of films these days, they could probably film in 42 days, but then you go back for another 62 days with reshots, the way things carry on. So Czech Marine played three different roles, believe it or not, in the film. He played a border guard, the bartender, and Carlos, and that showcased his comedic range. Danny Trejo played Razor Carlisle, making another collaboration with Rodriguez and solidifying his status as a genre favourite. The film's soundtrack, and you can't go wrong if you've got a really good soundtrack. The, um, so the film's soundtrack features music by the band Tito Tarantula, and they also appear in the movie as the house band at the Titty Twister. The film mixes traditional vampire lore with unique twists such as the Aztec inspired temple and that was a, a temple setting for the Titty Twister. The um, film marked one of the many collaborations between Tarantino and Rodriguez highlighting their shared love for genre films. The set design and cinematography create an eerie atmosphere enhancing the horror elements of the film. I think it's like a horror comedy, I wouldn't put it down strictly as a horror though. In the special edition DVD, it includes a full-length documentary titled Full Tilt Boogie, and that offers an in-depth look at the film's production. So if you have got the DVD, then um, yeah, I think I'd recommend you check that out. The success of the film led to two direct-to-video sequels and a television series that expands on the original story. So, yeah, it was a success. Were the other films a as much of a success, probably not because they went direct to um, DVD as it, it would be now. The film contains numerous references to other horror and exploration films, showcasing Tarantino's encyclopedic knowledge of cinema. I mean, that is a man who knows probably what he doesn't know about cinema is probably not worth knowing about. So there you go. That's my um, delve into the world of From Dusk Till Dawn. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment in the box below, suggest a movie if you want me to uh, pick on your favourite film then tell me what it is and I'll do a video for it. Thank you so much for watching, you've been great and I'll be back very soon with another video. Take care.